So I may have done quite a bit of damage. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, welcome. So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an entire full face of makeup using all new products. I recently did some damage at Ulta, so I was like, why not try all of this new makeup on camera? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna keep this intro extremely short and let's just go ahead and get started with today's video. Okay, so it's only right to start off with primer. So for primer, I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild Primer Serum, which is basically like a hydrating primer. I'm not gonna lie, I low-key bought this for the packaging. That's honestly how you get me with makeup. If the packaging is to die for, I am definitely going to buy it. <laughs> so instead of applying it directly to my face, I'm just gonna take a few drops onto my hand. This smells very fruity. Okay, honestly, not bad whatsoever. First impression wise, it feels very nice on the skin. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting it to be a little bit more heavier. Okay, so next up for foundation, I actually got a few different types of foundations. I ended up restocking on my favorite foundation of all time, and this is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. But since I'm super familiar with that foundation, I want to try out this one again by Wet n Wild. I feel like I bought a ton of Wet n Wild products. <laughs> I remember I bought this a while back, like when it first came out, but I accidentally bought the wrong shade and I never ended up using it. But they ended up really stepping up their game. Like the top is a very nice detail. It's like a suede material. But this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I have it in the shade Soft Ivory And I also remember this having a very nice applicator. It's like a little spatula which is very interesting. I'm gonna apply some on the back of my hand because again, I'm not a fan of applying products directly to my face. But I can already tell that the texture of this foundation is going to work perfectly for my skin. Okay, so not only are we trying out a brand new foundation, I'm also trying out a brand new beauty sponge. This one here is by Real Techniques. I'm probably the very last person trying this sponge out just because it has been out for so long. Okay, I am extremely amazed right now. As you guys can see, I'm blending out the foundation, but literally the sponge is not soaking up anything, like any product whatsoever. Have I been wasting all my foundation this whole entire time? Oh my god. There's nothing on the sponge. Guys, I'm not kidding when I say that I was today years old when I found out that a sponge isn't supposed to be soaking up so much foundation. Okay, so not only is that sponge amazing, can we talk about this foundation though? Like the coverage? So, so good. Okay, so next up is going to be eyebrows. And I just realized I'm using another Wet n Wild product. You know, I just wanted to try out Wet n Wild. I feel like a bunch of their products are super underrated and they're like super affordable. So this right here is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. And I got it in the shade Medium Brown. Okay, so on one side we have the actual pencil. And then on the other side we have the spoolie, which is something I always need when it comes to my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna be doing very light strokes because I have no idea how pigmented this pencil is. So one thing I can say is that this stuff is super easy to work with since the shape is like a triangle form. It kind of gets all the little crevices of your eyebrows. This pencil is much more of a crayon type of texture. Like it's much more drier than a regular eyebrow pencil, but honestly, it still gets the job done. So I went ahead and carved my eyebrows off camera because it's now time for eyeshadow. I don't think Ulta carries this palette. I believe I got this from Target and it's the e.l.f. Retro Paradise 18 piece eyeshadow palette. And guys, this palette is so, so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't contain myself. So I started playing with some shades, like just seeing how they swatch and look, they're so pigmented. It's absolutely insane. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm first gonna be taking this shade called Canvas, which is a very pale type of skin tone shade for me. I just like having some sort of base on my eyelids before I start with any eyeshadow. Oh my God, all of these shades are just so pretty. I don't know what to pick. Okay, let's keep going with the neutrals. I'm gonna be taking this shade Fuego 
and sandy bum and just focus this right on my crease the shade fuego is much more warmer which i love applying on my crease like any warm shade i'm all for when it comes to my crease and then sandy bum is much more cooler toned so i feel like a combination between the two is like the perfect crease shade okay so i was stuck between rise and shine which is this beautiful yellowy green type of shimmer shade and this shade called paraiso but i think i'm gonna go with paraiso just because it's more of a coppery gold color and I'm just going to be taking this with my finger. Oh my god. That is pigmented. Again, and to deepen up that outer crease, I'm going to be taking the shade called Caliente, which is like this burnt orange almost. So since I want the eyeshadow to really show, I'm going to skip the lashes for today's look. So we're going to jump right into mascara. This one here is the L'Oreal Voluminous waterproof original mascara it looks like this i always make sure to get the waterproof version of mascaras just because your girl is a cancer and cries like five times a day <laughs> i'm just kidding not really so now that the eyes are done it's now time to finish up the rest of my face so i'm actually going to be cream contouring however i'm going to be cream contouring with a foundation this one here is a wet and wild photo focus foundation and as you guys can see i accidentally got this in a shade that's not my shade whatsoever but i'm just going to be using this as cream contour <laughs> i think i may have accidentally apply a little too much it actually wasn't that difficult to blend out so now it's time for concealer here i'm going to be using the elf 16 hour camel concealer did i just say camel i meant camo like c-a-m-o i'm not gonna lie i'm super scared to use this because i know this dries super quickly guys i don't think i'm a fan of the camel concealer for me i just feel like it's way too drying so i might have to try out their hydrating version so to set my whole entire face i'm going to be using this powder here by maybelline and it's their fit me matte and poreless powder i have used their powders before but i feel like this is the first time i use their matte and poreless one but i know that i am a huge fan of their powders okay so for this next step this is technically a new product just because it's still in the packaging i haven't touched it whatsoever but you guys know this is like my favorite bronzer of all time and this is the physicians formula butter bronzer this smells amazing you guys know the drill i always put this on the hollows of my cheekbones on my temples mainly like all over my face to be honest i just love this bronzer so so much so i forgot to buy a new highlighter so we're just gonna skip this part <laughs> So I may have gone a little too overboard with the lip products. So I'm first going to be lining my lips with this NYX liner in the shade Nude Truffle. And then I'm going to top it off with this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. This shade is super similar to the Madeline shade, but this one is like a little bit more berry toned, which gives it a much more darker vibe. And this, you guys, is the final look. Now that I think about it, I should do more of these videos because I'm always sticking to the same routine over and over again and I never try anything new. But this video just made me step out of my comfort zone when it comes to makeup. And I'm not gonna lie, I definitely found some new faves. So if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time on my next one, which is very, very soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.